I'm Steph Hodge with Board Game Geek here with Milan Tzewski with Arcana Games. And we're looking at Galactic Warlords today, yes? Yes, Galactic Warlords. Excellent. Our second game. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. second yeah. game. And it's available at the Essen? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, at our booth in Call 4. Excellent. Yeah. And um, is it available in Germany or online yet? Or uh, It was on Kickstarter uh, last year, so oh, okay. it's, it's, it's yet to be uh, released in, uh, you know, online and, it's coming. and everything. Yeah, so it's coming soon. Perfect. And so, yeah. is this a exploration battle kind of game, or? Yeah, this is uh, kind of like a area control, car-driven combat game. Okay. So uh, you are the galactic warlord commanding your own army of mercenaries. I see. And uh, you get to play these cards in front of uh, your uh, tableau, like a t you build a tableau of cards. Okay. And uh, uh, as you play these cards, for example, uh, these are the mercenary cards, right? As you play the as you play these cards, you will get. Uh, Units, units, which okay. you will put in your base here uh, as you play the card. And then you can use those units to either deploy on the planets, on the board, uh, depending on whenever, wherever your ship is. So for example, if my ship is here right now, I can only deploy on this planet here. That makes sense. And yeah, I would score points depending on the value of the planet at that moment. So for example, if I put this here, I would score one point right now because... That's the white that's planet. The, yeah, that's the white planet's I value see. at the moment. And... Um, uh, you also use these units to, play, uh, to pay for these actions here, which you okay. have on the card. So uh, most of the actions are missions, and you send them. Uh, you send your units here to the mission space. So you play that, you play out that action, uh, which includes actions like assassination, uh, which uh, uh, renders the other mercenaries from the other players. Uh, you know uh, they they don't operate anymore. Uh, you have a recon action, which allows you to take a peek at the planets on the board, around the board. Uh, you have a subterfuge action which lets you take one card from your opponent at oh, random no. and then either yeah either either play one of those actions and then get it back or take that card for yourself and give him another one from your hand um, and you also have uh, what uh, what did I miss uh, you also have uh, actions such as support action which is lets you draw a support card which in turn these are like bonus cards as well so uh, you can play multiple actions during your turn uh, no, let's see it's something else okay that's this is the one ah. there's an assassination bonus card as well <laughs> and <laughs> yeah so uh -oh. uh, so you do this uh, all the time and uh, the point of the game is at the end of the game you will have this like a tableau of cards uh, do you get problem. bonus points if they match yeah you do actually ah. when you match when you match uh, like this uh, you can put a guard on it so oh, cool. yeah so now that guard Protects Protecting, both, yeah. the, both the, of these mercenaries from an assassination action. So uh, you would get points for them at the end of the game. Uh, and you will also get points for the guards themselves. So one point for each guard. So you want to try and Definitely match these. Definitely match them. Definitely <laughs> match them. And even uh, if you succeed in matching another one from the same color, so two from the same color, you get to play a special uh, skill action, which uh, is also kind of a bonus action during the game, which allows you to deploy more units on the board, uh, draw cards, uh, and all sorts of things you know yeah. so uh, yeah and even in battle so for example because there is a co there's combat in this game uh, you throw dice depending on uh, how many units are on, on that planet where you're attacking and how many units are you with attacking with so uh, you can make combinations to attack with uh, only infantry unit or uh, tank and aircraft or oh, so okay. yeah there, there's different amount of dice that you roll uh, and uh, for example if I'm defending on the planet I can if that planet, if the, the, that planet I'm defending is either blue or white, I can remove this guard and send it as a reinforcement oh, so on that planet. So I can, bonus. yeah, so ah. I can get a bon defensive bonus with that guard as well. But you're giving a point. Yeah, I'm giving ah, a point, but, but maybe. You want to save your everything else. Yeah, but maybe, <laughs> yeah, but maybe the planet will give me more points at the end of the game. Absolutely. So that would be better for me, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. So at the end of the game, what's most important? You try to match. Uh, the symbols of the mercenary cards that you have on your in your tableau or your command area, as we call it, to match with the planets that you have uh, uh, on the board. So, Claimed. yeah. So you want to, you know. Technically, I'm claiming that one right now. Definitely, yeah. And you want to keep it until the rest of the game yeah. because you <laughs> have determined somehow that you will, uh, you know, be. Uh, I get points for the white. Yeah, right you now. get points for the white. So ah. you can draw and then you can change directions, uh, draw uh, other planets as well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the the core of the game uh, and we also have uh, these this reputation track here 
which gives you certain bonuses and points for advancing on it. So, ah, for example, yeah, I can advance here by either playing some action at a certain time. So, for example, if my marker is here, I can. Uh, the, the game right now shows that if I play a bombard action, oh, okay. uh, I will move one space forward, right? So, right now, I can either claim this bonus um, yeah, infantry bonus. unit in my base and I can put it here so I can use it immediately. Okay, or, or I can claim immediately two, two points, points and that's it. So again, I would need, for the next round, I would need another Bombard action to go here and then claim some other bonuses. But for the next round uh, onward, I would need a support action. So right now the support action moves my marker forward. Oh, okay. And these are, you know, like modular. Each game it will be oh, different. So. so the Bombard is for these two. Yeah, for these two. And then support is for, for these. these. Then Recon, then Assassination, and then the game ends if I reach the end track. So. Oh, the end excellent. of the track. So you can push the ending faster. Yeah, this is a valid strategy as well. So you yeah, can, you can just really go eight actions and be done. If you, <laughs> yeah, if you have, yeah, if you have the cards, if you have the cards, if you can uh, hire them, draft the mercenaries you that match these actions, uh, you can end the game really quick. So wow. yeah, I would do so that. So that that's a valid strategy. <laughs> I'm also fan of that strategy. So, yeah, fan. So uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, what else? So you also have this base here where you actually, uh, the units that you gain from the mercenaries, yes. you are putting this here in the base. Now you, you'll start with two tank, uh, three tanks, and uh, this, this is the tank, and uh, two aircraft already in the game. And as you play your mercenaries, uh, more infantry units will come here. Yes. So you, will, you can deploy them or use them for the missions. I see. And uh, at the beginning of your turn, you will always uh, do a recovery step first, okay. where you actually uh, move uh, these from decon into the launch pad, okay. and all of the units that were either wounded in battle that ended up in the medical oh, bay. So they'll go into decon. Yeah, they're going to decon, see, yes. and you have like a bit of a cooldown system where yeah. you. So you don't get them back right away. You don't away, get them back right but away. But you so will get them back. You will get them back eventually. They are revived. So, yeah. <laughs> so you have to manage a bit. So yeah, yeah that's 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 uh, the base. Uh, yeah, and we also have uh, another type of cards. Uh, sorry, these are the objective yes. cards. So. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can draw objective cards and uh, uh, then uh, claim these sectors as yourself uh, for your for yourself. If you have the both planets in that sector, so you can finish this mission and you know get extra points or maybe gather different symbols in your mercenaries, so you can get extra points as well. Uh, even uh, have four guards on your mercenary cards, so that will give you you know a bit of a different strategy in the game. Yeah. So you can focus on Absolutely. other things a lot of as points well. Here too. Yeah, a lot of points here as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we also have the solo mode available. So this oh. is a one to four uh, player one game. One to four players, perfect. Yeah, yeah, so you can also play a solo game. Uh, these are the solo cars uh, which... Uh, Try and do these missions. Yeah, so, no, this is actually well, what uh, the AI in the in the game does. So oh, it's moving the, when you, Yeah, when you, when you reveal a car like this, it shows uh, where he will deploy his units. Uh, but it's like a kind of a... You, you get some of the information because uh, the deploy for the AI works a bit differently. So, for instance, if I draw this card, uh, the game says that I will place these units here in this sector, not on the planets. For example, these were revealed, right? So I will place this here, and then if if this one was a red, pla uh, green planet, then uh, this tells me that the units will deploy here. So, oh, okay. so now if I have unit there, I we will see. do a battle, and you know, uh, you kind of get half of the information already on the card and maybe on the next card they will be they will be attacking but you know most of the uh, some of the times uh, the units may even you know be here for the whole game and they not move because you did not draw that kind of a planet so yeah that's okay then yeah so, that's okay but there's a lot so there's a lot yeah there's of a lot of spaces that are gonna be of, yeah, so the so chances of that happening might be rare rare that's if, that's rare that's yeah rare. so yeah, it's, yeah. there's still yeah, a lot yeah, going yeah, on yeah, on the board you have yeah, to take care of yeah so um, you yeah. said it's coming soon. Yeah, it's coming. Look for it soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's Galactic Warlords uh, coming soon. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing us Galactic Warlords. Thank you very much for having me here. <laughs>